Uh, perhaps the big highlight of my year as Rotary president in 1989 was a trip to Scotland that the club gave us because they every year give the president, incoming president, a trip to the international convention and Glasgow was the objective that year. So we had a great time. We went a week early, traveled around, stayed at a lot of bread and breakfasts and just had a wonderful time, fell in love with Scotland. But now to get back to <coughs> Yakima, there are three real strong memories I have of that year. First was that we moved from the Red Lion to the convention center. And that was a big step up for our club. The Red Lion was very cramped and kind of dark and you could only see half of the people. So everybody I thought felt really good about going to the convention center. And our speakers I'm sure enjoyed it because it was a much better uh, format for them to work from from the convention center that it ever had been in the Red Lion. The second thing uh, that was interesting that year is Carolyn took over as the executive director for our club for the whole thing that year. And I'll tell you, she was a lifesaver for me. We had a very compact format for our meetings anyway, with a lot of people involved and only a, you know, a certain amount of time to do it. So we had to allow time for each speaker. And if they didn't stay within their time, we could give them a little red light and move them on. So we got, we always had enough time left for the speaker, but it was very compact. And Wednesdays, uh, Carolyn would always send me a um, format for the meeting with the times and the names of the people and whatnot and give me time to figure out my introductions and try and figure out a little clip about each one to say uh, kind of a joke. And anyway, we had a good time. And she was a, she was perfect about that. She did it perfectly every week, kept us right on schedule. The other thing that I would mention is that I had a great desire to have fabulous programs for that year. I felt like the real, one of the big reasons people come to Rotary meetings is to hear the program. And I made a wonderful decision to have uh, Rick Bunnell be my program chairman. And Rick and I spent quite a lot of time way before our year ever started, just outlining the kind of speakers we wanted to have representing what different areas they came from and names of people we knew that we really wanted to get if we possibly could. And we started contacting these people a long time in advance so they had time to work out their schedule to fit in with our schedule. And it was very successful. Rick did a wonderful job, I'll, I'll always remember that. Uh, and those were, those were the real highlights. I wanted to say one quick thing about Eric. A lot of us think we're organized when we're presidents, but Eric is doing the most spectacular job I've ever seen in this kind of trying circumstance of the year. He's been fabulous and I really admire him and appreciate him for all, what he's done, the way he puts on these meetings and all the activities we've had. It's probably the busiest year we've ever had under the most trying circumstances. So I think we all owe a, a little hand of applause for the great job Eric's doing.